Good morning. Well, the second frame, the second frame redo is done now, all fits beautifully. It fits actually a lot better. I'm glad I brought it down. So take this back up, fit in place, and then we'll start doing the two main bits. And we're really hoping at this point, everything kind of meets in the middle. That's the aim. All right. It's been quite a bad storm, which I've been trying to wait to calm down, but it just ain't happening. I want to get this bit up. It's not a great time to have half a roof acting as a sail, I won't lie.
Okay, it's taken a lot of faffing about to get to this stage, but finally it's ready. Well, the shape's ready. So I've got to drill the holes for the pegs and I've got to put a few dominoes in these middle braces and then I can take it all apart, which yeah, is a bit of a ball ache, and then take it up and put it together. Today, this A-frame is finished. So the idea is to lift all this up in one go and listen, <laughs> here's where it is really the moment of truth because if all the measurements are right, this will just slot nicely into the frame and I can peg it. If the measurements are wrong, well it won't, it won't do that. So here's where the ridge pole will sit so there's just a little bit of wood in there keeping it the right distance apart at the moment so the ridge will sit and go, actually, technically the ridge will go all the way to the other roof on the other side eventually. How can I do this on my own?
that was not easy on my own. Trying to crank it down a couple of mil to hit it in. Anyway, it's done now. I'm gonna leave the lifter there for a minute while I drill all the pegs and dowel them. And then that's the first A-frame up. There's only actually another half an A-frame, but it'll all make sense later. Let's get these pegs in. Yes! It's basically the main frame that will hold the roof. There's another half A frame to go here. And then we basically put all the extra wood on top and then we can put the boards and tiles on top of that. What a structure, I'm so proud of that. I mean, five days ago I'd never done a mortise and tenon joint and now it's up. So I'm gonna leave the lifter there just for now because the whole thing with this roof is that the more you add, the stronger it gets. So just in case there's any movement or main wind, you know, big winds, I think I'll wait until I get this other brace in and then it's all stable. What? What a thing. And it's going to be beautiful from the inside because actually all of this, depending on what thickness roof insulation is in, all of this will be on show. So once the roof's on, obviously I've done all the edges nice, but I'm going to take time to sand it, oil it, so it just looks like a really nice feature of the chateau. It's been a difficult one. I know I haven't posted as many vlogs this week, but it's been... Just back and forth with tiny little bits that hasn't been that filmable. But I will see you all for the second half and hopefully finish by next week. Monday. I'll see you all Monday, that meant.